<laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get it this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost got it. Pinata, where are you? <laughs> Sorry, lamp. Whoopsies. <laughs> Mark, the pinata's over here. Come on, birthday boy. <laughs> It's about to get even better! Tiny! Neil Lostridge reporting live from the top of Blunderberg Tower, where the piano man, Elkin John, will soon play a concert for his dear fans. Elkin John? I love Elkin John! He's my favorite singer of all time! Well, what do you say, Clark? Want to go see Elkin John perform live at the very top of Blunderbird Tower? Of course I do! But Blunderbird Tower? Chico, Clark's scared of high places. What? I thought he was scared of low places. I'm actually kind of scared of all places, but especially high places. Oh, I could never go to the top of Blunderbird Tower. Uh, that's okay, Clark. Uh, we can just watch the concert on TV. <gasps> The banana phone! Uh, Chico Bonbon, bon, you got a problem? We can solve them! Hello, hello there! I'm Sir Elkin John! Oh man! Elkin John! <sighs> My show's about to begin, and I've got a major piano problem! Can you help me, Chico Bonbon? Bon? Sir Elkin, you've reached the right monkey business. There's no piano problem we can't solve. Fix it, Force. Time to bring the awesome. was powerful enough to break the wall. But we need something big and heavy to break it down for the elephants. Wait, elephants are big and heavy. Clark! Blazing bananas, that's it! Clark will be our wrecking ball. Clark, he's definitely heavy enough. And if he swings back and forth like a pendulum, he should hit the wall with enough force to break through. Love it. We just need to make him a safety suit. Fix it, Force! Minus Clark, let's swing into action! We're witnessing history, folks! Clark is through the bear crawl! Tip-toe, 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 ha! And past a family of little birdies in record time! Do it, Clark! Almost there! All that's left is the climbing wall, which... Say, is it just me? Or is that new wall very tall? Oh, boy! Clark! Hey, Chico! This wall is pretty tall! Yeah, it sure is. And if we can't knock it down, the race will be canceled! Canceled? Oh, no! Chico, we've got to do something! I was hoping you'd say that. Rainbow, get ready with the crane and the safety suit. Clark, buddy, you are going to be a wrecking ball. A wrecking ball? I've never trained for that. Who do I do? All you have to do is swing like a pendulum. It's all up to you now. You're gonna save the entire race. I am? You can do it, buddy. I can? You can do it, Clarky. We believe in you. Oh, I can! I can make it through any obstacle. I'm an elephant ninja warrior! Oh, ah, no! Well, folks, 
folks, it looks like the race will have to be canceled. <gasps> Wait, what's that? It's what? It's a plane! It's a wrecking ball! It is my honor to present to you the Golden Peanut. You truly are an Elephant Ninja warrior. <laughs> and I also declare you the official Wrecking Elephant of Blunderberg. Wow! What an honor! Nico Long John. <clears throat> I mean, uh, Chico Bon Bon. You got a problem? We can solve them. Chico, it's just terrible! That big burp quake shook my favorite plate off the wall, and it broke in two! Oh, no! Hang tight, Mrs. Coleslaw. We'll be there in a jiffy jaff. All right, fix it, Force. We need to fix Mrs. Coleslaw's plate. We'll need an adhesive to stick the pieces back together. Excellent! I'll bring my quickie sticky tape. Tape is an adhesive, but not the right one for this job. It will cover the plate's picture. To make the plate look good as new, we need to use glue. Aha! Uh -huh. Then I'll use my patented, all-purpose, spectacularly sticky, extra grippy, grippy glue. Wow! Now that's an adhesive! <laughs> so sorry, Chico. Uh, Chico? Where are you? Right here. Ha! The grippy glue stuck you two together. You've bonded! Mm. <laughs> so we have. Must be the grippy glue. We'll unstick ourselves later, Clark. If Mrs. Coleslaw needs us. You got it, glue buddy. This is a chance for some Chico Clark bonding time. Get it? Bonding? <laughs> ah, how about a glue buds duet? Or should I say, gluet? Like sticky glue or gum on a shoe? I'm stuck on you. Fix it for us. Time to bring me awesome. Chico Bon Bon! Dark! Rainbow Thunder! Tiny! Mrs. Coleslaw, it just needs some grippy glue. Tiny, I'm going to need precision nozzle number 47. Just need some glue on the edge, and... Ah! How's the repair going, Chico? Going fine, buddy, but I need you to hold really steady. Steady, apply the adhesive now. There, good as new. Yay! Wow! Let me get that. Whoopsie, oh, get back your glue. Mark. We're still no closer to finding the sound. Smells like another clue! And this one fell from above! Look! Up there in my laundry chute! Clark? Oh, hey, guys! Buddy, what are you doing up there? Well, I was coming home from the banana.
bananas store, and when I passed Mrs. Coleslaw's house, well, I thought she might like some bananas too. Well, I didn't want to be a bother, so I let myself in, tippy-toed to the banana pantry, and dropped them inside. And that's when I realized there's no such thing as a banana pantry. Oops! Oh no! And here we are. But the good news is I caught the bananas. I've been eating them to keep up my strength. Ah-ah! So that explains all the banana peels. Don't worry, buddy. We'll figure out a way to get you out of there. Uh, but how? He's wedged in there too tightly. Mm, we could pull him out with a little plunger power. No. Okay. Well, if we put a little more weight on him, we can push him out. I know just the thing. Something else! Nope. No! Nada! That's everything I got, Chico! He still hasn't budged! How are we gonna get him out of there? Um, Chico, it sounds like you could use a banana break. Ow. Okay, we couldn't pull him out or push him out. Plus, I spent the whole day slipping on banana peels and it. Wait! Banana peels are slippery. Blazing bananas, that's it! We can use banana peels to slippy slide Clark out. Yeah, like a lubricant. Lubricant? A lubricant is where you use one thing like banana peels to make something else slippery. Bingo! We can use banana peels as a lubricant to make the laundry chute slippery. Yay! And then I'll slide right out. <laughs> that's true! Zintite. Oh, excuse me. As I was saying, if we leave now, we can. Huh? That's it! Uh, yeah! Whoa! Uh, oh. You okay, Clark? I've never seen sneeze powered propulsion before. Propul. what uh, now? Propulsion. When you blow air with enough force in one direction, like your sneezes, it pushes or propels you in the other direction. Uh, oh, he's gonna blow! Uh, <laughs> Yay, propulsion! <gasps> the banana phone! Chico Bonbon, bon, you got a problem. Dr. Merv here. Was that clock I heard sneezing? I'll be there as soon as possible. Um, hi, Dr. Merv. Hi, Chico Bonbon. Bon. Well, sorry, I couldn't get here sooner. Hi, clock. Take this. <laughs> Gesundheit. What's this all about, Doc? Why is Clark sneezing so much? Well, let's see. Hmm. Say ah. Ah. Now say sweet potato pancakes. Sweet potato pancakes. It's just as I suspected. You've got an elephant-sized case of elephant sniffles. Elephant sniffles? Oh, Is there a cure, Doc? Clock needs to rest up on this couch until he gets every last one of his sneezes out. When will that be? It could be today, could be next week. But when that last sneeze comes, you better hang on to your hat, because it's going to be a doozy. Uh... Well, I'm off. I want to get a good spot to see the Choo Choo Express. Woo woo! Oh, here's a sticker. Aw, oh, Peanuts, I'm gonna miss the Choo Choo Express. A once in a lifetime moment, and I gotta stay here with my elephant sniffler. Choo! Uh, poor Clark. Is there any way we can get the train to pass by the lab? I wish, but trains always stay on their tracks, and there aren't any tracks close enough for us to get a good look. Wait, Dr. Merv said you have to stay on the couch, but she didn't say the couch has to stay here. Fix it, Force. It's time to bring the couch to the train. Blazing bananas, that's it. We'll make a bridge out of nothing. Huh? Well, not nothing. We'll use air pressure, like in Tiny's movie. Oh, I get it. If we set up a bunch of leaf blowers across, then Mr. McFluster and the pizza will float right across on the air. 
uh, excuse me, uh, float across a bridge of air? It's not a bridge exactly, but it'll bridge the gap between here and Herb's house. And since there's no actual bridge, there's nothing for the beetles to eat. This could work. Fix it, Force. Let's go catch some air. Hello, I'm Neil Ostrich with a special report. The Fix-It Force needs your leaf blowers. The fate of a power pizza delivery badge depends on it. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, blowers engage. at full power! Nice! Warning, beans are no longer piping hot. Do not deliver, do not deliver. Oh, we're too late. The pizza, it's warm. Oh, I can't deliver this. Ah, oh, bummer. Then I guess you won't mind if I do this. I said no onions. Uh, I feel like we've tried everything. Maybe we could, uh, what if we try, uh... Uh, Chico, there is one thing we haven't tried. A banana break. Ow. Okay, how do we get that sandwich? Skateboarding didn't work. Clark snack fishing pole didn't work. Even my mega grabber didn't work. Oh, there's got to be a way to get past the gloves, wrecking balls, hammers. Gloves, wrecking balls, hammers. Gloves, wrecking, wrecking balls, hammers. hammers! Hey, that's a pattern! Blazing bananas, Clark. You figured it out. I did. It's a pattern. Gloves, wrecking balls, hammers. And check it out. After the hammers, there's a pause before the pattern starts over again. That's it! If you time it right, you can leap through and snag the sandwich before the pattern starts again. Fix it, Force. Time to save that sandwich. Gloves, wrecking balls, hammers. Pause. Gloves, wrecking balls, hammers. Pause. Gloves, wrecking balls, hammers. Go! Gloves, wrecking balls, hammers. Sandwich to the queen. Great, 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 great grandfather. How interesting. Mayor Murphy, I don't want to be rude, but I am quite hungry. Uh, of course, but perhaps you'd like one more glass of water? I don't want a glass of water. I want a Blunderburger sandwich. Ahem. <clears throat> queen Pumpernickel. May I present to you the bountiful, beautiful, blunderful Blunderburger Sandwich. Oh, it's extraordinary. Sorry it took us so long. We had to get it from this place with all these doors and lasers and boxing gloves and even hammers that went boom. Whoops, sorry, sandwich. Oh no, it's all soggy. 
Or, I mean, that's just how we like our sandwiches around here. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, this blunder burger is wet, soggy, and quite mushy. And it's absolutely delicious. It's hotter than a hedgehog on a hair curler. Here you go, Herb. I'm so cool and refreshed. I almost don't mind the tumbleweeds. Oh, <laughs> blistering barnacles. It's hot out here. This will cool you off, Captain. I'm cool as an Arctic acorn. <laughs> Jarred, me ship's still full of holes. Chugga chugga, woo woo, it's hot. One silly chili pop, chugga chugga in your way, Conductor Clyde. All aboard the cool train is what I'll say as soon as I get some more tracks. have cooled everyone off. But now all the used popsicle sticks are everywhere. They're blocking traffic. They're filling up homes. They're even sticking up the slides at the playground. Without a doubt, these sticks are the stickiest situation we've ever seen in Blunderberg. Signing off in one. The silly chili pops solved one problem but caused another. Chico! What are we going to do about all these sticks? Yeah, what are we going to do about all these sticks? We can't have our streets clogged and cluttered with garbage. We can't have that. You can chill, Madam Mayor. We're on it. Hey, guys, what do we do with garbage? Shoot it into space with rainbow rockets? Sweep it under a giant rug? No. And sometimes, but not today. Today we recycle it. Fix it, Force. Time to take out the recycling. It'll take us a few more trips, but this should do the trick. Uh, let's think. Uh, what gets really hot on a hot day? Uh, uh, armpits. If I put your comb under my armpits, maybe I. Ugh. Chico, I think you need a banana break. Okay, we left it in the sun, but that was too slow. The microwave was a no-go. The blanket and the story didn't work. Even the hot, hot dance party left us with cold, cold cocoa. Ah, focus, Chico. Oh, it's too hot to focus. I feel like I'm melting under this hot desert sun. Focus, heat, melting. Wait a minute, the magnifying glass. Amazing bananas, that's it! We can use the sun to heat the cocoa, just like we melted Tiny's cheese. We can! Yay! How? With the magnifying glass. Of course! The magnifying glass is focusing the sun's energy onto the cocoa, which will heat it up. Magnify it! Magnify it! But to make the cocoa hot, we'll need even more heat. And that means a bigger magnifying glass. And to focus it, we'll need to hold it really far from the cocoa. Like how far? Top of Blunderberg Tower far. Huh? <laughs> Fix it, Force. We're going to engineer a mega magnifying glass. With the brand new Sprite, I hope y'all brought your shades. Wah! Ow, ow, ow. Ready to shine. Clark, ready with the control? 
Tails? Ready, Chico. All right, everyone. Let's focus. Clark, rotate the glass toward the sun. <laughs> Look at that energy. We're focusing the light from the sun. Now, rotate it so it's pointing this way. Yes. Sorry, Cactus. A little to the left. All right, Clark. Focus. Focus on that Coco. You're almost there, Clark. Got it! Coco connection! <laughs> the energy from the sun is focused on the Coco. Great work, Clark. Rainbow, what's our temperature? It's lukewarm and climb. It's toasty. And it's hot! We'll use automation to make an automated pizzerito maker. It'll be just like the Dish Tour Deluxe, except with pizzeritos. We can use a conveyor belt to make a machine that performs each step in our assembly line. It'll make the food all by itself without ever slowing down. Just hurry. I think the customers are getting hangrier. Many of us in line are still without a pizzerito. And the hangry meter continues to rise. I'm getting hangry. And when I get hangry, I stomp my foot. When I get hangry, I clock like a chicken. <laughs> oh, when I get hangry, I sing the news. Waiting in line is such a pain. And the weather forecast says it's gonna rain. Ow! Don't worry, Lemurettis. We'll solve your problem in a jiffy jab. present your new automated pizzerito maker. Fill it, roll it, melt it, scoop it. Wow, in record time. Mm, it looks like a pizzerito. It smells like a pizzerito. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it doesn't taste like a pizzerito. Why not? It's been pooped all wrong. We can't serve these. We've got to serve something. Betty, can you reboop it? Uh, I can try. Now that's a mwah. Okay then, Betty will do the boops. Pizza Rito on the brain. levels are returning to normal. And while it may have been maddening, everyone agrees, these pizzeritos were worth the wait. Thank you, fix it the force You've solved another one of our food fiascos. Bravo. <laughs> Glad we can help with your pizzerito problemo. And thanks to automation, now we have time to, oh, I don't know, have a pizzerito race. First one to make a pizzerito win. I think I'll just have seconds. Well, I can hear the sound, but I can't see what's making it. No! Look! That's where the sound is coming from. Captain Squirrelbeard's pirate ship. Ahoy there, mateys! Come on up! I've got something amazing to show you! Behold! My latest and greatest treasure! <laughs> <laughs> So that's what's making that sound. Yes, it's me mighty treasure gong. And it plays a mighty song. Uh, what's a treasure gong? Ooh, I'm so glad he asked. <clears throat> oh, there was an ape, 40 foot tall, the one they called King Gong. We played a game of table tennis and he was very strong. He thought he would win and I would lose, but he was very wrong. Cause on the last shot, I won the prize, a very shiny gong. Now my precious treasure hangs where she belongs. I play and play and play it all night long. Um, Captain Squirrelbeard? Captain Squirrelbeard! Yar? So, that's a 
really great treasure gong you've got there, but it's also really loud. Yeah, how are we all supposed to sleep when you're playing it? What if you tried hitting your gong with something softer that might make a softer sound? No, oh, I have just the material, a squishy foam noodle. Yeah. All right, I'll try. Hey. Yar, the sound be too soft. Well, what about a stick? No, uh. oh, a stick be too breakable. How about a banana? Uh, sorry, mateys, but I'm afraid me gonger just needs to be stronger. Oops. Wait a sec. What if we gave everyone in town special gong-proof earmuffs? That way nobody will be able to hear it when Squirrelbeard plays his gong. Ooh! Yay, earmuffs! Come on, Fixer Force. We've got earmuffs to deliver. This is Neil Ostrich coming to you live from the streets of Blunderburg. This ought to quiet things down. It seems like the Fix It Force is giving everyone special gong-proof earmuffs. Maybe now we can all finally get some sleep. Hello? Why, I can't hear a thing. <sighs> there, that was the last of them. All right, Captain Squirrelbeard. Now you can play your gong as loudly as you want. Nobody's gonna hear. Chico, our toast is floating away! Oh, no, it's not! <laughs> Chico! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, this order of toast isn't to go! <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm fine, but that alien spaceship above the treehouse took our toast. Alien spaceship? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> greetings, toastmakers of Earth. And greetings to you, toast takers of. Who are you guys? We are the Yum Yums. My name is Gum Gum. And my name is Tom Tom. We, we come, come from, from Planet, Planet Zum Zum. Oh, I've always wanted to visit Zum Zum. But why are you taking our toast? Toast is our planet's most favorite food in the universe, and we do not know how to make it. Well, taking it without asking isn't very nice. We like eating toast too. Uh, sorry. Why don't we teach you how to make toast instead? Teach us! Clark, that's a great idea! It's really not that hard. All you need is... A toaster! What do you say? We say... I think that's a yes. Well, looks like you've got your hands full. Oh, thanks for the shoes, Chico. Bye, Mrs. Coleslaw. Fix it, Force. Time to make some toast. Chico Fun Fun! Rainbow Thunder! Lark! Tiny! Uh, yum, yum Yums! Okay, this is what we call a toaster. Ooh! To make toast, just drop a slice of bread in each slot. Ooh! Slide the switch into the toasting position, wait for the toaster to do its thing, and bada boom, bada bing! <laughs> Ah, yum, 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 yum. What is it? What's wrong? Perhaps a toaster like this is good for planet Earth, but not for our planet. Why not? Everything on our planet floats in the air. If this toaster were used on Zum Zum, the toast would go bouncing all around the room. Then we need to engineer a toaster that works on your planet. And you know what that means. To, to the, the space, space lab! lab! Monkey with a tool belt. The banana phone! Chico Bonbon, you got a problem? We can solve them. 